McGill Training Center hosted a listening session Monday concerning pending Army Force reduction decisions. We'll have more on that in a moment. Also this week, March is Women's History Month. A cybersecurity symposium is coming up and an award for Corvius Military Living. These stories and more this week. Hello, I'm Brian Svan and welcome to Veed Week. McGill Training Center hosted the 27th of 30 Army-wide listening sessions concerning Army Force reduction decisions that are due in June. Major General Jeffrey Buchanan explained the purpose of these sessions. Now, what, what we have not determined is how we're going to go on the active side of the Army from 490 to 450,000. And that's what these sessions are all about. The Secretary of the Army and the Chief of Staff of the Army are going to make some significant force structure decisions in June. And they're taking your input as well as, you know, the input of our congressional leaders uh, and leadership across the Army to make those decisions. But they want to hear from you. And so that's what this is all about. And you've heard of the Budget and Control Act, sequestration and everything. Uh, that is shaping some of those force structure discussions. Uh, but but that, is, that is not really part of the discussion to go to 450. Colonel Carl Konzelman from the Army Force Management Directorate stressed that no decisions have been made yet. It's very critical for you to understand that at this point, no decisions have been made. We do not know anything about any units that will want to be inactivated to go from 490,000 to 450,000. Once again, these force reduction decisions are due in June. We'll have more on this story as we get closer to June. In other news, March is Women's History Month, the theme for 2015, weaving the stories of women's lives. This year's Women's History Month observance, hosted by the 902nd Military Intelligence Group, along with the Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office, presented a special program in keeping with this year's theme. This year's guest speaker was Heather Taylor, a film producer that created the documentary Breaking Through the Clouds, the story of 20 pioneering pilots in the first Women's Air Derby of 1929. 20 brave young women answered McQueen's call to compete in the first Women's National Air Derby. And the women who flew it included Amelia Earhart and Phoebe Omley and Blanche Noyes and a bunch of women that people haven't heard about um, other than Amelia. And so a lot of these women went on to do incredible things like uh, Phoebe Omley who became a pilot for Franklin Roosevelt during his presidential campaigns. So the film is about the actual race. It's the, the true story of the, the race over nine days. Of the 20 pilots that took off from Santa Monica on August 18, 1929, 15 minutes to the finish line in Cleveland nine days later. The real significance of the race, however, is the trail blazed by these amazing pilots. This was the true amazing race. These women really did um, not only contribute as pioneers in the, in the sky, but they went on to lay a foundation for the rest of us and created opportunities for the rest of us. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade Army Education Center is hosting a cybersecurity symposium on Thursday, April 9th from 11 to 2 at the McGill Training Center. The event intends to showcase education and employment opportunities in the growing field of cybersecurity. You can contact the Army Education Center for more information. In a related story, the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command, or INSCOM, is hosting a tech expo on Wednesday, April 8th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Club Mead. More than 35 exhibitors are scheduled to be on hand. For more information, go to www.federalevents.com and search for Tech Expo. And finally this week, Corvius Military Living announced recently that it earned the highest resident satisfaction score for 2014 from the National Satisfaction Annual Resident Survey. It's the eighth straight year Corvius has earned the Superior Company Score Award. According to Satisfax President Doug Miller, Corvius Military Living has always had great passion, focus, and quality assurance. Their 2014 National Award winning performance once again validates this. Corvius's military housing portfolio includes almost 25,000 homes, including Fort Meade housing, across 13 Army and Air Force installations. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Meade Week.